I'm Takuyaki Tamura. There's a famous singer with a similar name, but as you can see, I'm just a big fat ass. Dad passed away when I was young. My grandparents were too old to help us, so it was just me and my mom. We got about $30,000 from Dad's insurance money, but it wasn't enough. We were super poor. We lived in this small apartment, barely making ends meet. You probably thought, how come you're so fat then? Well, I got my reasons. My mom, she works at a restaurant. Takia, look at all these leftovers I got. Yay, fried chicken, let's eat. I got some free bread too. Yay, bread! Can I get some sugar? I even got some fruits. Here, look at the size of this orange. All right, thanks mom. So yeah, we always got leftovers. We were pretty poor, but we were both pretty chubby. Dad was fat too, so I think it was in our genes too. Kids at school made fun of me for being fat, but I had good teachers who stood up for me. So it was nothing I couldn't deal with. But my life changed when I started high school. Everyone there was so mean to me. I mean, kids have been mean to me since elementary school, but this was on a whole new level. Mom, I'm good. I think I'm gonna go on a diet. What nonsense, eat up. But kids at school call me fat. Oh, uh, well, it's true, so forget them. Mom, that's not my point. We can't throw out food, it's not right. I know, but... My manager really cares about you, you know that? That's why he gives us all this stuff. Come on, eat up. Ah, so weak. I hated myself for it, but seeing all this delicious food in front of me, I couldn't resist. Plus, I didn't want to see my mom upset, so I ate it all, as usual. My classmates avoided me, but it's not like they bullied me or anything, so whatever. I'll just ignore them. Yeah, that's it. So I decided to ignore them, but then something happened. Ah! Oh, what the hell? You got your sweat on me! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! After PE, I was walking back to my classroom. That's when I ran into my classmate, Ririka. She glared at me with disgust. Then when she noticed the stain I made on her shirt, she screamed! Oh, so gross! I can't wear this anymore! Oh. Ririka started targeting me after that. She was pretty, so she had a lot of male friends. And they started bullying me too. I heard you ran into Ririka! What the hell, man? What were you doing near Ririka anyways, huh? You're disgusting. I'm sorry, but it was an accident. Stop talking bad to us. How are you going to make it right, huh? Yeah, you got to make it right. For starters, it's our turn to clean the classroom, but you do it, okay? Huh? But I just did that yesterday. Shut up, fat ass. Yeah, do as we say, or else. Okay, fine. Just don't hurt me. They made me clean the classroom when it was their turn to do so. They tripped me whenever I was walking. They called me names like Piggy and Fat Ass. My other classmates stayed away. I guess they didn't want anything to do with them. Can't say that I blame them. I probably would have done the same. <sighs> High school sucks. Hey, Takuya, what's the matter, dear? Oh, Harue. Hello, uh, well... I ran into my neighbor. Her name was Harue. She was a sewing teacher. I met her 10 years ago. She saw a hole in my shirt and offered to teach me how to fix it. She became a good friend of mine ever since. She was so kind and caring, and she was pretty hip too. She had a smartphone and everything. Well, at school today, we sat on a nearby bench and I told her everything that happened to me at school. So this girl, Ririka, and her friends, they're bullying you, huh? That's not very nice. Yeah, I hate going to school. But Mom worked really hard to get me into the school, so I don't want to quit. I see. There's an old saying. Huh? Barking dogs seldom bite. These bullies, they can't do anything on their own, so they stick together and pick on others to feel better about themselves. I see. They're making their bond stronger by targeting you. 
what's the word? Escape something. Huh? Oh, uh, you mean scapegoat? Yes, that. They're just using you, dear. But bullying someone never gets you anywhere. Trust me, they're not getting anything out of this. Forget about them. They're weak. You shouldn't spend your time worrying about someone like that. If anything, you should feel sorry for them. I see. I think I get it. I think I've been taking this too seriously. Yeah, just think of them as puppies. Puppies are always barking at everything, but they never actually bite. And if you need help, just ask me. I know some people that might be able to help. Like who? One of my students from the Judo Club. He's the head of the Board of Educations. If push comes to shove, I'll ask him to step in. I'm sure it won't come to that. But we got your back, okay? Stay strong, kiddo. Wow, I had no idea. Thank you so much. I think I'll be fine. Ririka and her friends kept bullying me at school. They told me to clean for them and buy stuff for them. But I didn't care. Thanks to what Yasue told me, it was actually kind of fun watching them bark at me. How long does it take to go to the store? Hurry up, fat ass. There she goes again. Stop smiling, nerd! That's all he says. I guess he doesn't have a lot of vocabulary. Dumbass. I just ignored them and talked to myself in my head. It really helped. I literally didn't care anymore. But they started to know this. Hey, asshole! What's with you lately? You're pissing me off! Yeah, you've been acting all weird. Oh, I know. Here, eat this, tubby. Free bread. Oh, come on, go on. <laughs> then Ririka threw a piece of bread on the floor. Before, this would have upset me. I probably would have cried and ran away. But I remembered what Harure told me. I'm not gonna let them walk all over me now. Eat it. Yeah, go on, eat it. Huh? What the? Gross. I got down on the floor and ate it. Actually, I just ate the top part and put the rest of it in my pocket. Yummy! Okay, what's next? Want me to clean for you? Do your homework? Want me to dance? Tell me, come on, I'll do it! You wanna play? Fine, let's play. I provoked them. I was kinda worried that they might make me do something horrible, but if that happened, I could just report them to the Board of Education. But they just walked away from me. They looked terrified. After that, they stopped bothering me altogether. They probably thought I was crazy. I mean, they still called me names whenever I passed them by, but I was used to that by now, so whatever. Man, I'm glad I pulled that stunt. I was so excited. I decided to share my story on my socials. I wanted others to know how I stopped the bullies at my school. Uh, I need a title for my article. How about... Fat Kid Strikes Back? My tweet went viral. It got lots of views. I got all kinds of comments like, Great story! You're insane! This really helped me. Think I can go to school again. I gained four pounds because of this. This is your fault. Why are you smiling? What's the good news? Huh? Oh, well, well, there were these bullies at school, but... Bullies? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything worked out. I guess you never know what life throws at you. Huh. Uh, I, I guess, as long as you're okay, dear. Mom seemed a bit confused, but she saw me smiling, so she seemed relieved. Of course. It's all good. Oh, I better tell her, too. Harue, your advice, it worked! Thank you so much. Oh, I see. That's fantastic, dear. Yeah, what you said to me, it really worked. Thank you so much. Good to hear. Oh, hey, I found this story online. Thought you might like it. Here, look at this. Wait, that's my story! I wrote that! This is kind of weird, isn't it? Two years later, I graduated from high school. I decided to skip college and started working at a local company. Then, a year later, I came into some unexpected money. We were rich all of a sudden! A publisher contacted me! I've been updating my blog, the Fat Kid Strikes Back series, since high school. And now they wanted to turn it into a book, The Life of the Fat Kid! I can't believe you're an author now. Dad would be so proud. He was pretty chubby too, you know. Huh? What does that have to do with... 
whatever, as long as he's happy. We moved out of the small apartment and got ourselves a nice condo. Life was good. But then... Takuya! <laughs> long time no see! I ran into Ririka at our class reunion. Her minions were still with her. One of them got really fat over the years. The other one was bald as an eagle. That's rough. Then she said to me, I heard you're rich now, right? You're a best-selling author now, right? Uh, I guess. Remember that day when you ran into me? <laughs> I think we were meant to be together. Huh? After P.E., you ran into me, remember? We were meant to be together. Don't you see that? Uh, no. Look, we're meant to be together, okay? And you did lose some weight. You single? I'll go out with you if you want. Wait, forget that. I'll marry you if you want. Was she serious? I guess all she cares about is money. I wanted to walk away, but her minions had me surrounded. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to provoke them. So I said to her, You used to call me all kinds of names, and now you want to be with me? That doesn't make any sense. I don't remember saying anything like that. If I did, it was probably because I had a crush on you. I was just a kid back then. But if I upset you, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. <sighs> By the way, I didn't lose any weight. If anything, I gained weight. Are you blind or something? What? I, uh, I, look, it, it doesn't matter. Hey, wanna get out of here and grab a drink? Just the two of us? There's a nice hotel across the street. Wow, you're so desperate. Do you hear yourself? You should be embarrassed. I feel sorry for you. That's all I can say to you, really. You don't mean anything to me, okay? So just stop. I gotta go. I have a meeting to get to. Bye. Then I ran off. Her minions tackled me, but they went flying. I had about 50 pounds on them. Take that! There was no way they could stop me. The two of them fell on top of Ririka. She was screaming on the floor. Screw you, nerd! Give me money! Ah if you eat food off the floor, I'll give you a dollar. I gotta go. Don't ever contact me again. If you try to shake me down again, I'm calling the cops. Have a nice life. After that, she started posting bad rumors about me on socials. She probably wanted to ruin my reputation as an author, but... He's a famous author now, but he was our puppet back in school! We made him cry every day! We made him eat food off the floor! She started bragging about how she bullied me, but that didn't sit well with her followers. <laughs> what an idiot. Soon enough, everyone found out about all the horrible things she did. Even people at her work found out about it. I heard she got a demotion. She used to work at the reception desk, but she got sent to archives. One of my classmates told me that she quit her job six months later. I gotta help my parents with their debt, but I made some bad investments and got zero savings. Please, can I just borrow some money? I'm sorry I said all those mean things to you. I'm sorry, please. She sent me a message on Twitter, but I ignored her and blocked her account. I heard she works as a hostess now. And her minions were up to their necks in debt as well. I heard they're barely making ends meet. Oh well, not my problem. As long as I don't have to see them again. Today, I live happily with my mother. And I still talk to Harue, too. She's always giving me advice on my novels. Ah, peace at last. Glad everything worked out.